Hello everybody, so today I am filming a video where I do the second part of my series of videos that I'm doing where I do a different coloured sort of makeup look and eye look and today's colour is blue. I have already done red so if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below for you to go and watch if you want to and also in that video I show you how I do like my base makeup so you know foundation, powder, blusher, all that kind of thing so if you want to see that then go and watch that video first or you know the first part of it but this video I've done that I've done my brows all that kind of stuff I've just got my eyeshadow and my lipstick left to do oh and my mascara so that's what's going to be happening in this video when I did my red look I was very happy with how it turned out I have actually got quite the selection of palettes today because these have all got kind of a different blue shade in it that I might want to use so I'm going to see how it goes I don't know what I'm going to be doing today I've got no plan as such but if you like makeup videos or if you like any kind of videos that I do on my channel then please subscribe because I would really like you to join my channel if you would like to obviously but without rambling on too much let's get into the video right okay so i have got this brush here it's just one urban decay but the writing's rubbed off and i'm just going to make sure it's kind of quite clean for my kind of transitiony type shady things i'm actually going to use my sofa x revolution palette this one here and i'm going to use some of these shades as transition because you know they're actually really really good so i'm going to start off with the first shade which is penguin and it's this white one here and I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna pop it on my lid and it just acts as a little base shade for everything when I'm doing my eyeshadow I am very very kind of artistic so it means that I well I'm not artistic with my eyeshadow but I'm quite an like arty person so I like to really blend colors and use lots of colors it's not because I feel like I need to but it's because I want to the next shade I'm going to go in with is Pancakes, so I'm also just going to pop that on just because it's more skin coloured and just going to put that in the crease very, very subtly. It's all about those subtle differences. And then I'm going to take the shades Iced Coffee, sorry, it is this one here, and Cup of Tea, and I'm going to kind of mix them together. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease just to kind of give that transition shade that we need. I do take my transition fairly high. I don't, you know, just pop it in the crease. I do take it up quite far, kind of almost up to the brow bone, just because I like my eyeshadow to be seen and that is obviously gonna make it be seen. So that's my transition done. Now I'm gonna have to think about sort of what I'm gonna do in terms of blue eyeshadow. So I am gonna start off by using a matte blue. So I'm gonna try and find a matte blue. I'm not entirely sure if I actually have a matte blue because most, brands and most of the palettes have got shimmery blues in them oh i do have actually a quite a dark matte blue here but i'm going to use that in the crease so i'm not going to use that one okay i'm going to start off by using my palette from beauty big bang okay i did work with them on a video i do have a code if you want to go and use it the code is gcx10 for 10 percent off so you can go on their website and use that this video is like nothing to do with them i just thought i'd mention that i'm going to use this shade here so it's just a blue shade obviously and I'm just going to kind of start to kind of pop that on my eyelid I didn't you know pick up a lot of product onto my brush because I didn't want to um have too much pigment from this eyeshadow but it's just kind of getting that kind of base layer if you know what I mean so it might look a little bit patchy right now but it's because I haven't picked up much product on my brush Right, this is when it starts to get a bit confusing. I'm actually going to take the shade from my other Sofex Revolution palette. This is the Extra Spice eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'm going to take the shade Infinity, which is this kind of one here. It's quite chunky and very glittery. I went to a festival on the weekend and actually I don't know when this video is going up, probably like next week, but I went to a festival and I used this shade as glitter up my cheek and it worked pretty well. So I'm just going to take that on my finger and I'm just going to kind of pop that here. It's kind of, it, look at that pigment, that is just insane. But I'm just going to pop it here. It is kind of blue, which is why I'm using it in this look. It's like silvery blue. Sorry about my face, by the way. Can't help pulling these faces. 
and we might use that shade um, a little bit later but we'll see. So that's that part done so it's kind of opening up your eyelids a little bit more. Um, I think I'm gonna go into this palette from Sleek and this and what palette's this one? Oh, this palette is called Vintage Romance 141. So I'm going to use this bluey shade, can't even see it, here. It kind of is a little bit purpley, so I'm not going to put too much on. I'm going to use more of a packing brush to pack this on. I'm not too sure on that blue colour, you know. I don't know if that's going to be blue or purple. We'll see what happens. But I'm just going to kind of pack it on the outer part, like that avoiding kind of the inner part because obviously you've just put a really light blue on that so you don't want to get that too much on and any fallout can be like washed away later this almost looks like a um, sort of a cut crease if you know what I mean without actually doing a cut crease so I'm going to take a little bit more of the infinity shade just to kind of blend that in together a little bit just so it's not quite you know so I don't know blocky I'm gonna use my fluffy brush just to kind of blend out that edge a little bit just so that it's not so sharp it's kind of more blended but I'm not gonna blend that into the inner corner because then you're gonna take that darker shade in the inner corner and we don't want that okay so that's that for the top okay I am then gonna go in with this shade from my Sofa palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Reputation here. This is a very dark blue so this is going to be kind of right in the crease, um, sorry right in the outer corner to give that kind of definition, sorry. And to really give the effect of kind of that eyeshadow. The reason why you put kind of darker shades in the crease is because you're trying to make it look like it's kind of sinking into your face and anything that's highlighted like the bit at the front you're kind of pushing out of your face so it just gives more dimension that's why you do it like that okay so I'm happy with how that's going so far so I think that's it for the top um in terms of the top of my of my eyelids I'm gonna use um the the shade gunmetal here I don't really use it that often um, sorry, it's not in focus. Okay, so I'm going to take that on my brush and pop it under my lash line. I kind of wanted like a really vibrant sort of neon bright blue for like underneath my eye, but I didn't have one. So I had to just kind of make do with what I've got here. This kind of blue look is definitely more of a sea blue. This could be like an ocean breeze blue okay so that's that for that color i am going to take the shade creep which is slightly darker and i'm going to take that kind of in more in the outer part of the lower lash line because it's slightly darker and then to finish it off i'm going to go in with my soph x revolution palette um just this first one that she brought out and i'm going to take this shade here which is petrol and that's a great shade I'll show it on my finger, but it actually um, does, I'll try and show you, it's a little bit different, difficult, but it, in the light it kind of reflects like a ready tone, but it's actually blue, but then it reflects red, can you see that? Like in the palette it looks blue, but reflects red, so I'm not too sure like whether to use that or not. Um, I think I will just use a tad under the lash line. It'll just give a hint more colour. Okay, and then in the inner corner, in fact, I'll do the inner corner last. I'm going to take a clean kind of fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out all the edges. So I'm going to start off by blending out the top edges like this. Buffing that out if you can see. And do the same to the other side. And then I'm just going to wipe away any excess and I'm going to buff out sort of the inner part. And then we're going to go underneath the eye and I'm going to blend out this. So this will kind of really, you know, smoke it out and kind of bring it down a little bit more. P 
poke myself in the eye. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back in with that infinity shade in here and I'm gonna use an angled brush and I'm just gonna use that in my inner corner. Here, just kind of inner corner, bring it down slightly. Like that. Very, very bright. So that is a little bit too much in the inner corner. So I might just kind of blend that out a tad. Because I don't like, you know, too much product in the inner corner of my eye. Um, so that's my eyeshadow done. This is my kind of attempt at a blue eyeshadow look. I know that it's not kind of neon blue. It's more sea blue. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with that. So all that's left for me to do is mascara and lipstick. <laughs> I am going to go for more of a different lipstick today um, than an everyday lipstick because, you know, why not? Might as well go all out. So I'm going to be using this mascara. It's the Rimmel Scandalized Wow Wings mascara that was sent in my Rimmel Vox box. I'll link that down, that video down below where I unbox my Vox box if you want me to. I do often mention videos that I've already filmed in videos that I'm filming now. And I always say, oh, I'll link that down below. Um, and I always do. And it's just because, just in case you haven't seen it. Because I know with my channel that a lot of videos, like don't go into people's subscription box oh my god oh good um don't go into people's subscription boxes and also youtube does this really weird thing where it doesn't add on the views that people watch like sometimes videos get stuck on views and i'm like how can a video get stuck on views and it adds them on later on and when i mean later on i mean like a few days later so like i can see how many views my video has by going on video manager but with the public the public can't see how many views it has and it's really annoying because it's actually a lot more than it says Okay, I think that's my mascara done. So this is what it looks like with mascara. Now for lipstick, I think I'm going to use this grey lipstick from Primark. Um, it says it's £2, but it actually cost me like 50p or something. And I just feel like this, because it's grey, kind of matches the whole look. It's not blue, but I, I don't know. I just feel like with this kind of look, you know, you might as well just do something a little bit extra. So I'm just going to get a mirror and apply this. I feel like I'm choking because this is quite tight. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to apply this now. I feel like I look very futuristic. I think I look quite robotic. I don't know, like an alien. But I like this. I think this is quite nice. That does actually kind of look a little bit blue. Anyway, this is my finished makeup look for today. This was my take on blue for my kind of Colours of the Rainbow series that I'm doing. If you haven't seen the one where I did that was red, then please do check that out. That'll be linked down below. Again, like I said, I, I did my base makeup as well. So go and check that out if you would like to. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked my makeup look that I created, I know it's not exactly every day um, and it's a little bit different, but please do Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. And I don't know what colour to do next. Don't know what colour to do next.